Happy Marketing Monday, everyone, and happy, happy new year. Happy new year to everyone. I hope you are settling in nicely to starting your new year, perhaps back at work today, maybe taking a few more days to relax. Uh, welcome to your first installment of 2022 Kid Gloves Marketing Monday. My name is Katherine Warren, I am COO, and I focus on our clients in the community, public, and behavioral health sector. So I'm here today to share with you some tips specifically uh, to that community, but tips that I believe could help anyone uh, that is in charge of spreading important messages. So, you know I love a holiday theme. Well, if you've seen my other Marketing Mondays, you know. And today is no different. Today I'm going to ask you to make a resolution. And that is to stick to your strategic marketing or messaging plan in 2022. So, first of all, I want to congratulate each and every one of you uh, that's watching today. If you have developed a strategic marketing communications plan, you are a million steps ahead and it's a big deal and it takes a lot longer and a lot more thought time and a lot more processing than a lot of people think to create a strong strategic plan. Now, if you haven't done that yet, not to worry. Uh, there are lots of resources out there to help you and it's never too late in my opinion to uh, start a strategic marketing plan. So if you haven't, you can certainly hop to our website kidglove.com and you'll find lots of resources, lots of blogs that have gone up in the last few weeks about planning and um, how to tackle that. So, so for those of you though that have checked that part off your list, now comes the even trickier part, and that is sticking to your marketing plan. So in 2022, I invite and challenge all of you to stick to your marketing communications plan. Why should you do that? Well, first of all, we all know a good, solid strategic plan is built on the why. It's built on your strategic goals and initiatives and why those are important to your organization and what tools are you going to use and tactics are you going to use to fulfill those goals and those strategies. So sticking to your plan allows you to stick to your why. There are a million wonderful ways to advertise your your organization, to advertise your programs, to share all the important messaging that you have to share. However, there are different vehicles that serve different purposes, that reach different audiences, that help you fulfill different goals. So that's why your strategic plan becomes so important because you can't do everything. And so that strategic plan helps you focus on your why and what tools and tactics you will get, you will use to help you best achieve uh, those goals and those strategies. So that's number one, why you should stick to this plan. Number two as to why you should stick to the plan is it makes it very easy when people have new ideas or the latest and greatest thing they want to share with you in marketing messaging, or you have a sales rep visit your office, an advertising sales rep. Um, there, are, there are a million new and great things out there. There are great advertising reps that have wonderful products to sell that will help you market and share your message. However, with your plan, you can easily say, yes, this fits into our goals and our strategies, or no, it doesn't this year, and here's why. It helps you stick to your budget, and when I talk about budget, I'm not just talking about money. I'm also talking about your time allotment for marketing and messaging. A lot of people in our, in our field aren't necessarily just doing marketing. They have a lot of other hats and roles that they have to fulfill. So budgeting, you need to take account, of course, your grant funds. How many dollars do you have to share your message? But then how much time and what type of resources do you have to share those messages as well? So everything in your plan needs to fit within those time budget allocations, within those, hey, I have this number of people helping me share my message. Can we accomplish all these goals? What's realistic? So again, sticking to that plan helps you when the next person walks in your door and says, I have the best idea for us to share our message. You can easily say yes or no. 
third piece for sticking to your 2022 marketing plan, consider setting a monthly meeting where all you do is review your marketing plan for the year because it is not easy to stick to a plan, right? It's like any resolution to stick to it. Uh, you have to set up stop gaps throughout the way uh, in order to make sure that you're checking in on your goals and achieving your goals. So I would strongly encourage you to set just a quick half hour monthly meeting where you are just reviewing your plan. You're reviewing your goals, you're reviewing your tactics. Hey, we said we were gonna do this in January this, this, and this, did we do this and this and this? Do we need to push any to the following months? Do we need to shift or pivot our priorities so that we're able to fit these in? Um, if a monthly meeting sounds like too much, try a quarterly meeting. Um, that is, you know, something is always better than nothing. And it is amazing how much setting time away to focus on strategy, to focus on those bigger goals that are so easy to overlook as we're working in our day-to-day -day can help you achieve your goals. And then final tip I'll share with you. If there is that thing that comes your way that you just absolutely have to fit into your plan that wasn't in your plan at the start, your, your strategic plan can help you make that decision too. So taking a look at the plan are there things that you could take out of the plan and replace it with this new latest and greatest thing that help you achieve the same goals, that help you achieve the same strategies? So if it is really something that's too good to pass up, take a look at your goals, take a look at your why, and see how that piece, that new latest and greatest piece can fit. And that will allow you to justify um, that new bit to your marketing plan, but then you need to take a look at that budget again and see what's going to give in order for you to fit that in. Because a good plan, you probably spent the majority of your budget, which again, isn't just dollars, it's time and resources. And what's going to shift or what are you going to push or what are you going to trade out uh, for this new latest and greatest piece to add to your plan? So those are all my tips for today. Uh, again, wishing you a very, very happy start to your new year. Stick to your marketing plan. Remember, it's all about your why. It's all about being able to say yes or no to new opportunities mindfully. And it's all about giving you a reason to check in monthly or quarterly on that big overarching plan, the big view for your organization and all the important messages that you have to share in your community and make sure that you're on track. So. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information on community health initiatives at Kid Glove, you can find those at kidglove.com community health. Have a great rest of your day.